In John chapter 19, Jesus is dying a horrible death on an instrument of execution. He is dying a ugly, horrible death on a tree. The creation has nailed the creator to a cross. And Jesus is, is dying a horrible, ugly, vicious death. But yet there's nothing random about this happening. There's nothing accidental about what is happening to Jesus. It is happening on purpose. Jesus has been incredibly intentional about this. Everything in his life on in time on this planet has been leading up to this moment, and he knows it. This is what he has to do, and he knows it. And he is intentional, and he's doing it on purpose for you. His love for you is on purpose, and he is very much in charge during the entire time. He even tells Pilate at one point, Pilate is like, don't you know I have the power of life and death over you? Don't you think you should be a little nicer to me? And Jesus is like, no, you have no power that my father hasn't given to you. Do you not realize that this is preordained? Do you not realize that this is preorchestrated and you're a pawn in this plan? And so Jesus is very much in charge the entire time. You weren't saved accidentally. You were saved on purpose, very intentionally. You were rescued intentionally. In verse 28, it says this, Jesus knew that his work had been accomplished and the Hebrew scriptures were being fulfilled. Filled. He had this, this strong sense of purpose, and he knew that he was fulfilling everything that was written in the Hebrew Scripture. He knew that this was it. This was his moment. This was his time. And then in verse 30, Jesus says, it is finished. And that's not giving up. He's not saying, oh, I'm done. It's finished. It is a shout of victory. He has done what he came to do. The barricade between God and man has been broken, and Satan has been dealt a death blow. And Jesus has done what he came to do. In verse 30, it says this, in that moment, his head fell and he gave up the spirit. He gave up the spirit. Jesus chose when to die. He chose when to give up the spirit. He died not as a victim. He died as a volunteer who was about to become a victor. And, and he chose when to do it because it was an intentional, aggressive, act of love. And then in verse 20, 36, it says this, it happened this way to fulfill the Hebrew scripture. Everything about Jesus's life was to fulfill, to, to, it was a plan. This was to fulfill what needed to be done. This was to, to accomplish what had to be done. This was to pay what had to be paid. Nothing about the love of Jesus for you is accidental or random. Jesus didn't fall in love with you, so he can't fall out of love with you. He chose to love you with an intentional, in strong love. He chose to love you with a love that, that defies reason. He chose to love you with a love that is greater than death. He chose to love you with a love that is stronger than fear and hate. He chose to love you on purpose and he proved it. How are you going to respond to an intentional love, to a love that, that was that fulfilled everything we needed, that fulfilled our greatest needs, that fulfilled our greatest desires. How will you respond to that today? God bless you guys. Giddy up.